Hello everyone, I wanted to go over a potential resource if you're having computer problems or if you're having problems installing software on your computer. One of the challenges that we run into with our computers is there's a lot of uh, different variables and settings uh, that go into making up a, an operating system and the different pieces of software that we uh, install. And one of the challenges is the environment becomes different for every computer and unique. So sometimes you may run into some errors that other people aren't getting. Um, I ran into this resource this last year and I just thought I would make this recording uh, as a reminder for myself that it is available and as an option for you. Uh, so if you are running into challenges, you potentially could use this as a resource. This site is called Paperspace. It's at paperspace.com. And what it allows you to do is to set up basically a virtual computer, which is, is a separate machine than yours, but it'll have a fresh build, a clean operating system, and you could install new software on it. So I thought I would go over how to set up a computer on here. This does cost money, but it is, depending on what you, what options you choose, uh, it can be um, quite an inexpensive um, and we'll see, we'll see what kind of charges we get when we set something up. This may help you if, you know, you are having computer problems at some point and you need to complete an assignment, you could potentially start up one of these virtual computers and complete it. Or if you just have a machine which is having problems, but you do have, you know, a cheaper computer or a tablet, you, you still could probably complete your assignments by using this option, so I think it is a good alternative to keep in mind. You want to go to this site, paperspace.com, and sign up and set up an account. And I'm going to sign in. I already have set up an account. And let's see. Let's see if I remember my password without looking it up. Okay, so once you're in paper space, you want to go to this top left corner and there's a couple options there, something called gradient and something called core and we want to go into core for virtual servers and we want to click on this machines and you'll see we have this option to create a machine. So I'm going to click on that button, create a machine. And you'll see you have some different uh, options here. Uh, you can do a, a machine with Ubuntu, which is a type of Linux operating system, or we can set up a Windows machine. So I'm going to select a Windows machine. And you can select some options here on the CPU. Uh, and I'm just going to pick the cheapest option here that's 45 cents an hour. You can uh, make some other choices on the type of um, CPUs and um, storage and things like that. Oh, this is a GPU. Let's see if we just go CPU. Oh, even cheaper. So. Um, you can probably get away with the CPU option here. And um, I will go with this one with C6 with 16 gigabits of RAM. And I am in Utah, so uh, I think West Coast is probably the best option here. Uh, if you're on the East, you could probably pick East Coast if you're out of the US, then there's another option for Europe. And I don't think I'm gonna worry about advanced uh, options. And I think you can just hit Create. So 
So you'll see that this says it's going to be about 16 cents an hour, which that's pretty cheap. And I, I'm pretty new to this, but I know other people that have used it and they say it's a nice way to be able to set up a more powerful machine to run some things than what they would uh, have themselves. And since you're just paying for some time, it's going to be a lot cheaper than going out and buying a new computer. And you can see that this does take a little bit of time to get set up <clears throat> and initialize. And we'll just um, let this go. Okay, so you'll see now that it says it is off and you can hit start. I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So, and after I hit start, I'm going to go ahead and hit launch. And again, this does take a little bit of time to get things up and running. And we'll just let this run for a minute. Okay, so you can see this does take several minutes to set up for the first time, but once it's up, you're going to see a desktop on your browser, and just like a Windows machine, if you go to the Start menu, you're going to see um, some different options here. Um, probably one question that, um, oh, this is disconnected, let's re restart it. Okay, so it said it disconnected. I refresh and it's back up again. <clears throat> you see you can go to the Windows menu like you normally would and find an application. Um, I am going to uh, open up GitHub. And I haven't seen of much of a way to directly transfer files to this other computer, but you should be able to use repositories on GitHub like you normally would and upload and download files to this computer, which I think is probably going to be um, the best way to go about doing things. So uh, once you have got a remote computer up and running, you can go through and install the different applications that we have and um, try that out. And this may be a way to complete assignments if your uh, main computer is having a problem or you don't have a computer that can handle some of the resources that we're going to put with it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try shutting this down. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to go to the normal power button and say shut down.
So when I go back into paper space, you can see that it does have this new machine listed and um, that is currently off. So I think that's a way you can get access to some additional computing resources if you are having problems with using your regular computer.